In this example, we're going to look at how to create uh, bivariate tables in SPSS. And so let's suppose that uh, I wanted to look at the relationship between health and happiness using data from the 2012 General Social Survey. Uh, I can create a crosstab table by going to my, to my Analyze pull-down menu. And so I would just go to Analyze, and then Descriptive Statistics, and finally Crosstabs. Now I just have to tell SPSS which variable I want to be my row variable and which variable I want to be my column variable. And so my independent or column variable in this case is going to be health. And so I'm going to find health here and move it over to where it says columns. And then happiness is going to be my uh, dependent variable. And I'm going to highlight that and move it over here to where it says rows. Now I can also request uh, some different options when I'm creating this table. So if I click on cells, uh, I can choose, for example, whether I want to have observed cell frequencies or if I want to have percentages. So I, I can have a row percentage, a column percentage, or a total percentage. I'm going to put a check mark next to column percentages uh, because I want to figure out the distribution of the, the values of happiness within the values of the independent variable health. And so I'll click Continue and OK. And SPSS will produce my bivariate table. And so we can kind of zoom in on that. So notice that this is based on a sample of uh, 1,299 cases uh, that are valid cases. That means 675 cases are missing. And here's what the table looks like. So uh, we can see that there's some differences uh, with respect to happiness for the different conditions of health. And so uh, if we look at people who consider themselves to be very happy, uh, we see that, that 164 of the people who are in excellent health, or 47%, consider themselves to be very happy. If we look at people who are uh, in the other states of health, notice that the, per, per, the percentage who are very happy declines uh, as their condition of health gets poorer. And so whereas 47% uh, report that they are very happy if they're in excellent health, only 30.3% are very happy if they're in good health. And it's down to 16.8% in fair health. And a bit of an uptick here, 19.5% who are in poor health. Now, uh, we can do this exercise for basically every different category of happiness. Let's look at not too happy. And you can see here that the people who are in poor health, 37.8% uh, claim to be not too happy. And increasingly, we have fewer and fewer people who are um, in this category of being not too happy as their health starts to decline. So uh, you can see that that, uh, or starts to, to, to yeah, decline. So you can see that 37.8% uh, who are not too happy are in poor health, 23.1% are in fair health, 10.4% are in good health, and then 6.6% are in excellent health. So very few people who are in the best health stat status are not too happy, but a far larger proportion uh, who are in the worst health status are not too happy. And then in terms of the people who are pretty happy, uh, kind of the intermediate between very happy and not too happy, we can see that the, the, the trend basically is that uh, as their health gets worse, uh, there's a larger proportion of them in this category, up to, it's up to a point. So 46.4% of people who are in excellent health are pretty happy. A higher proportion, 59.3%, uh, who are in good health are pretty happy. An even higher proportion, 60.1%, who are in fair, fair health are pretty happy. And finally, we have a bit of a, 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 a reverse trend here. We have 42.7% who are in poor health uh, who are pretty happy. And so uh, we can easily create a bivariate table using SPSS. Uh, now let's look at this using PSPP. And so PSPP, if I open that, again, notice that I have my 2012 GSS data here already. And if I go to the Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Crosstabs command, I can do the same thing I just did. So I can just put in health as my column variable. I can put in happiness as my row variable. And then if I click on cells, um, I have the choice of you know row totals, column totals, uh, grand totals, counts. I'm just going to use the column percentages and the counts. So I can click continue. Uh, Looks like it eliminated my, my variables here, so I have to put them back. So again, health is going to be my 
column variable, and then happiness is going to be my row variable. And I can click OK. And, as, and PSPP should create a table that looks a lot like the one that SPSS created, right? So here, if we kind of zoom in, uh, we have values of health going down the columns, values of happiness going across the rows, and we find basically the same percentages that we found in our earlier table when we used SPSS. So we should find the same basic pattern. Uh, really, either one of the two packages that we use is going to give us the same results.